welcome back to my channel what's up it's been two weeks now and i've been posting it in italian i know that but hi what's up what's happening um make sure you if you haven't looked or watched for watched my video my solo video to my girl if you but do you watch it because i can't be crazy you know <laughs> but yeah so today i want to just go straight to the topic i want to talk how i hate dating apps i'm so guys yeah i'm so tired okay if you guys hear my some voice man is my that my housemates yeah i hate dating apps like i hate dating now there's this particular one that i tried so let me let me refresh let me, everything so how come did i even get to dating apps like no longer ago, I told you guys I was in a relationship and that boom, now I'm on dating apps. So, blah, blah, blah. so I've been in an amazing relationship, very, very beautiful relationship. But you know what? Sometimes when, to, like, because sometimes... It's okay, it's okay! <laughs> so, everything started when uh, my, my housemate, every time she would start laughing on her phone. Obviously, my phone here yeah, do not blow. Like, nobody fucking texts me. Like, apart from my female friends or comments, whatever. But when it comes to... When I say nobody texts me, I'm saying, like, a guy don't text me. Like, and there's no one that say, okay, I'm chatting with this guy. Or I like this guy. This, like, guy's like me. No, there's no fucking... There's no buddy, okay? I try, I'm trying not to sweat. There's no buddy. And I see my, my housemate in her room. He giggly every time. <laughs> I'm like... What's making you laugh? Because no, my phone is dry. <laughs> my phone is dry. She's like, oh, there's this app called Bumble. And I was like, all right, cool. Is it? She's like, yeah, just like, you know, you need to swipe left or swipe right. If you swipe, if you swipe right, it's to say that you like someone. If you swipe left, it's that like you don't like someone. And then this, this app also, you need to, as a girl, you need to do the first move, isn't it? So I'm like, okay, I mean, it's interesting. I like, I like challenges. I like something new. Like, I, I usually don't do, do not do the first move. I do not, see, yeah, I don't DM anybody. I don't DM guys. There's since you, when you swipe here, yeah, you need to actually like text them. So obviously I had to do the first move. My, most of my first move were like, like coping and pace moves. <laughs> well, can you go away? Can you go away? <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. On my first move, they're like, hi, or oh, I haven't, I haven't texted a guy for the, never ever texted a guy for the first time, I hope you're going to reply to me, or like, all these like, cli cliche texts, like, copying and paste to every single guy. Then some people were actually replying to me, and other people didn't reply to me, and I still understand, didn't understand, why is it that? You swipe someone to say that you like them and then that person actually texts you and then you don't reply to that person. Or you were fucking burnt if you wanted to. Are you, are you finished? Sorry guys, someone is trying to distract me. Or you were so bored that you were just swiping everybody. Or you swipe me by mistake. But if you swipe me by mistake, remove it. Because there's a way to remove it. I don't even know. Because to be honest, I, do, I still don't understand that app how it works. For me, it was like, oh, it's cute. That swipe. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so hi at the beginning it was a little bit exciting but then obviously i'm that kind of person that that gets very bored easily so after like a uh, couple of chats like how you doing what do you do for a living what do you like can i kind of repeat myself every single time and then there was this particular one that I was actually into. It was, okay, let me say it's white. Yeah. I'm into white, you know. Like, I mean, I've never been into white. I mean, I'm just trying, I'm experimenting the game. There was someone that really, really kind of, his it, description was like 6'2". It was like 2 meters. Like, ah, long hair, like long hair, tall, muzzle. And he looked older, but he, he, on his description, he said 23. What the f <laughs> He said he was 23. Then we started talking by me. He was like, oh, you gorgeous. I was like, oh my god, you're so beautiful. We started buying me for like oh, the two days. <laughs> then uh obviously, like we started talking, and the way he was talking to me, I felt like it was too perfect. It was too perfect. I mean, he was a university student from Leicester. I remember when we was studying and also that he was having a side business so he was making money and he and it was which it was good and then he was sending me videos he was sending his uh, 
pictures like normally and then obviously like at the beginning it was cool it was gentleman then boom dick picture oh whoa whoa i was like no way you know what yeah i hate dick pictures please it, something that turns me on off sorry something that turns me off Complete me off is a dick picture. Like, do not send your fucking dick. Like, ugh, like, what do you? I don't understand why. What, what do guys think? Like, if you send me a dick picture now, I like you. Like, it's so disgusting. He sent it to me. I was like, oh shit. Like, I mean, I liked you, and now you're sending me this. But I want. So I don't know. Like, something inside me. I was like, this is so. It's so real to. Like, it was like, uh, I would say, uh, Mr. Gray. It, I was in my head, I was like, to my to my friend, I was like, babe, this guy's too it's so beautiful to be and he's and he has money, like it's too it's too real, it's too real. So I asked him, Can I please FaceTime you? Like, since you, you, you keep sending me this picture, which is dig was huge. I was like, wow, so why guys actually have dick big dick? Interesting. So I was like, okay, I used this excuse because I wanted to see if this guy was real because like it was too it was too much. I was like, uh, can I, do you mind if we FaceTime tonight? He was like, yeah, do worry, show. Sure. Okay, get, get to that point. And then he was like, um, he was like, yeah, sure. Then, I don't know, I went out, I was like, oh, I'm going out, so my my FaceTime me tonight. FaceTime me, I was like, yeah, yeah, he was like, yeah, sure, sure, don't worry. But I got, I got home so late, so I couldn't FaceTime me. Text him the next day. Guess what? This guy fucking blocked me. <laughs> I text him. The, this guy fucking blocked me. And I was like, why? Like, why, you, why would you block me? Like, I mean, unless I was actually right. This guy was a fucking scam. It was too, like, I wish, and it's so funny because I had your Instagram. I went on his Instagram. I started looking or I started looking or what type of people he followed. What type of people he followed. And... Uh, what type of people commented on his pictures and what type of people he tagged on his pictures so most of the pe people that followed it was all porno star all hot like hot girls i was like and and obviously for if it's a normal person should be following if friends if should be following his friends as well you know then the girl that he posted he never tagged that or the girl never even commented the post and i was like that's quite strange i mean usually some the girl or if you don't see tagged i'm like if you don't tag the person, the person still comment. Oh no, am I wrong? I, I just felt like that profile was built. That I was, I was so built, was so built up. Uh, finally found someone that actually clicked, kind of clicked. Like I'm a, I had it, like we had a good vibe. Like we 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 chatted a lot, and I felt like this was a potentially a friend. <laughs> no, I mean this. When I, I signed on Bumble, I didn't sign for a relationship. I just signed for people, people just to keep me company and make me laugh the way my housemate laughs. Because to be honest, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I won't say I w I'm not into white guys, but I've never had the opportunity to date one. So I would do even like, I won't put, oh, I want to date you. I'm just like, oh, let's, let's, let's have a nice time. Let's chat, you know. Find this one. We chatted for good two weeks. I had so much. I, it was so funny. And this, it, it was weird because I had a Snapchat. We used to snap. This is how I, I learned that Snapchat is meant to feed to snap a picture and send it and chat it. You know, chat on a vision. In fact, yeah, I mistakenly post one of our chat on my story. Just to let you know, I don't really Snapchat. Like, I just chat. Wow. But anyways, yeah, we, we actually had, um, we actually have a good conversation talking about we were just trying shit basically and then randomly asked me out yeah and then i went out i was so nervous because i was like wow i just wanted to chat i didn't really want to go out i mean i was curious to see the person but at the same time like i wouldn't even mind to just having my phone buzzing every time oh i received a chat but yeah that's it and then that's it we, we just became friends to be honest and then and then what yeah and i had to delete myself from that chat that I have to demilate myself from that app because, <laughs> to be honest, first of all, I don't have money to go and pay to go and talk to people. Secondly, I don't have my phone to be dry. They're actually having to swipe left, swipe right, or receive dick pictures. But yeah, like, I just feel like uh, dating apps really, like, yeah, some people are lucky. <laughs> some people are really lucky to find their, 
they are soulmates there. But me, I think my soulmate, maybe I feel my soulmate is not even in the UK. Oh, that's where I need to travel all, all, all over the world. Well, when I, when I, after uni, I might be going international. <laughs> But hey, I hope you guys love the story. If you guys have any any dating app story to share with me, definitely just comment. You know, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and follow me on IG. See you next.